I'm going to show you how to create your account and access and complete your lessons in typing.com. Now in your class, in the first module, you should see an assignment called typing. And in that assignment information, you will see a link to the typing.com website. Now it's important that you use this link because it links you with the class. And that way I can go into the class and I can see what the class is doing in typing.com. So once you click that link in the class, here's what you're going to see. It's going to open you up in typing.com. You have two choices, use an existing typing.com account or create a new one. You want to create a new account so it's associated with your class. You're going to type in a username, and for your username, I would like you to use your school username. That way I know it's you. If you use something else, make sure that your first and last name or first initial last name are part of the username so that I can find you. Otherwise, I don't know it's you. So I'm going to use my information, and I'm going to put a number after it because I know I had a couple in there. I'm going to create a password. Just make sure it's a password that you can remember. Now, I can go back into typing.com and change your password for you if you need it, but that's going to take time. You're going to have to wait for me to answer your email and get back and change it. So go ahead and use a password that you know you're going to be able to see and use later. Email is optional, but you do have to let the program know you are more than 13 years old. And then down at the bottom, move this, here we go, you're going to click sign up. You can save the password if you're on your own computer. If not, I would always say never. So here we are in typing.com. You've created your account and you are ready to start learning and practicing how to type. So what do you do once you're here? I get that question from students. You can start and just do the practice sessions here. If you are a hunt and peck type of typer, you just use your, your index fingers to type, you're probably going to want to actually use the lessons because this teaches you touching, touch typing. The F key and the J key on your keyboard, which is where you rest your index fingers, those keys never move. What moves is your finger. So if you can get some muscle memory going where you know when I have my index finger on the F key, if I move up a little bit, it's going to be R. If I move up and to the right, it's going to be T. Those, num those letters are always going to be in that same location. So you're going to be able to do touch typing. You won't have to look at your keyboard and your fingers as much when you're typing the letter. So go through the lessons. They're very basic. It starts you right out with typing the F, J, and the space bar on your keyboard. So you can work through your lessons this way. Up here at the top at typing.com, you see you have lessons and you have tests. So if you want to do a test, you can, both of these count in the minutes that you need to complete for the class. You can do a one minute, three minute, and a five minute test. My biggest problem with this, and it's something I have to get used to, is I grew up putting two spaces after a period, and on these tests it's set up by default as one space after a period. So, and it is very detailed. If you make a mistake, you're going to get counted wrong. But you can do these time tests if you want as well. So if I click on Start Test. To begin, type the word make. As uppercase M. To type the uppercase M key. So it's got a video with it, and you can turn that off if you want to right up here. Um, you can take the sound settings, and you can turn, turn stuff off. Um, but once you start typing, your minute's going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and take this typing test. Okay, so I finished my typing test. 
I did 65 words per minute with 99% accuracy. Now, I've been typing for a very long time, so there's a chance that you are not going to be at 65 words per minute. Some of you will be at more. I've had students do 100 words per minute, and I think that is just absolutely awesome. But start where you are. Usually with businesses, if they are requiring typing as part of their hiring process, they are looking for people that can type 35 words per minute with 95% accuracy. So if you are a business student or if you're trying to think, okay, what, what do I want to make my goal this semester? Strive for 35 words per minute. Now, I am not requiring a specific words per minute on my class. I just want you to practice typing for 10 minutes. If I look right here, you can see it lets me know that I've typed one minute. And it says out of 15, I can't change that. I think your class is set for 10 minutes, so just make sure you check uh, the instructions on how many minutes per week you're supposed to be typing. So up here in the left-hand corner where it says typing.com, I have a back arrow. If I select that, it's going to take me back to my dashboard. I can come back here now and I can go to lessons and I can continue working on my assignments. You don't have to do everything all in one day if you don't want to. If you want to work five minutes one day, five minutes the next, or three minutes or two minutes, however many minutes you want to work, that's fine. Right here where it says stats for all time, this is what I will be looking at when I'm grading. I'm going, I will go in on a um, usually on Monday morning, and I will look at the last seven days. And that will let me know, that gives me a, um, lets me know how much you have typed in that last week. And so you can look at that stats for last seven days, and it will show you how much you've typed that week. Of course, right now I've just typed the first day, so my everything I do is just going to show right up here in this, in this little box. One thing, when I go in and grade, I actually go into typing.com and I go into the class and I look at your username and it tells me exactly how many minutes you've typed during that week. It also lets me know what you've done. Did you practice on the lessons? Did you do the time typing? So I can actually go in and I can look to see exactly what you've done in typing.com. My expectation is that you will type a minimum of 10 minutes per week for this class. So that's what I will be looking for. You can type more if you want to, not gonna give you extra credit, but you'll increase your time typing. Now also in the um, typing.com here, you have different games that you can play. And the games, especially if you have kids at home, you can create, have them create their own typing.com account and you can look and play games and uh, see who can score the most points. Now, the games, that does not count into your practice time. The only thing that counts to the, towards that 10 minutes practice time is under the lessons and under the tests. So make sure that you're doing 10 minutes in lessons and tests, and then go back and do the games for the fun and um, just increasing your typing speed. I do have students ask me, why are we doing typing? In this class, this is, they don't understand it. Typing is a skill, and the only way that you can increase your skill level is by practicing. So that is why I have it in this class. doesn't matter what field you're going into, auto, welding, air for, airplane, uh, business, accounting, if you're an entrepreneur, you are going to use at some point the keyboard with your work. And the faster and the more accurate you can type, the quicker you can get it done and the quicker you can get back to doing other things around your business. So that's why we have typing in this class. Let me know if you have any questions and have fun increasing your typing speed.